The Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund, CEPF, is a partnership among six donor agencies, L'Agence Française de Développement, Conservation International, the Global Environment Facility, the Government of Japan, the MacArthur Foundation, and the World Bank. It works in the world's biodiversity hotspots to engage civil society, such as NGOs, community groups, academic institutions, in the conservation of biodiversity. At the moment, CEPF is funding um, conservation projects in 18 of the world's biodiversity hotspots, and it's constantly increasing the size of its portfolio and expanding into new areas. Conservation International has ranked the Caucasus among the planet's most biologically diverse, rich and endangered hotspots. The Caucasus, as part of the Greater Black Sea region, is one of WWF's 35 priority places, identified as being focal among a total of 200 globally outstanding ecoregions. The Caucasus hotspot, historically identified as the isthmus between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, covers a total area of 580,000 square kilometers. It includes six countries, all of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Georgia, the North Caucasus portion of the Russian Federation, northeastern Turkey, and part of northwestern Iran. The region's unique geology and terrain consists of three major mountain chains separated by valleys and plains. These have caused a variety of microclimates, soils, and vegetative environments. Forests, high mountains, wetlands, steppes, and semi-deserts in this region contain more than twice the plant and animal diversity found in adjacent regions of Europe and Asia. CEPF began its work in the Caucasus in 2003. The WWF Caucasus Program Office led the development of a CEPF ecosystem profile for the Caucasus hotspot. This ecosystem profile developed by more than 130 scientists and experts focused on conserving the hotspot's globally threatened species. The ecosystem profile defined three levels of priority for CEPF investment in the region. Taxonomic or species level, geographic, specific sites and corridors, and thematic, which takes into consideration the strategic directions and investment priorities. The CEPF ecosystem profile defined 50 globally threatened priority species across six taxa, including 18 mammals, 11 birds, 10 reptiles, 3 amphibians, 7 fishes, and 1 plant. Most of these species are found in key sites and within focal corridors. Initially, ten conservation corridors were identified in the Caucasus hotspot based on their importance for biodiversity conservation. Out of these ten, five corridors were determined as priorities for the CEPF investment. These cover 107 priority sites. The five selected corridors are the Greater Caucasus Corridor, which covers the middle and high mountain areas of the Greater Caucasus Range, extends from the Black Sea almost to the Caspian. It covers 4.68 million hectares. The Caspian Corridor is located along the Caspian Sea coast from the Talish Mountains in the south to the northern border of the hotspot and includes parts of both Azerbaijan and the Russian Federation. It consists of more than 3 million hectares. The West Lesser Caucasus Corridor is situated in the western part of the Lesser Caucasus mountain range. It extends along the Black Sea coast from northeastern Turkey to southwestern Georgia, ending in central Georgia. It covers almost 3 million hectares. The East Lesser Caucasus Corridor covers areas of Armenia and Azerbaijan and is situated mainly in the eastern and southern parts of the Lesser Caucasus mountain chain. It includes almost 1.5 million hectares. The Hirkan Corridor includes the Talish Mountains in Azerbaijan and the northwestern part of the Alborz Mountains in Iran, along with the section of the Caspian Coast, over an area of almost 2 million hectares. Four strategic directions were defined in the CEPF ecosystem profile, each including its own investment priorities. 
One was to support the efforts of civil society to promote transboundary cooperation and improve protected area systems. Another was to strengthen all means to conserve the biodiversity in the Caucasus hotspot with an emphasis on species, sites, and corridors. A third was to create models that demonstrate sustainable resource use. And last of all, to increase the awareness of the issues and the commitment of decision makers to conserve biodiversity. The CEPF investment was officially launched in May 2004. The CEPF committed approximately 8.5 million US dollars over the following five years for biodiversity conservation in the Caucasus hotspot. This investment was coordinated and managed through the mutual efforts of the CEPF and WWF network in the Caucasus, led by the WWF Caucasus Program Office. During the investment period, a total of 129 grants were awarded to civil society organizations active in the Caucasus hotspot. Most of them were made to local organizations. The CEPF conservation efforts and successes were wide-ranging in the Caucasus, from species protection to public awareness raising. CEPF significantly supported species conservation for mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and plants. Species conservation activities encompassed carrying out field studies and species population status assessments, assessing global and national red lists, improving or creating species databases, developing regional and national species conservation strategies and action plans, mobilizing local people for species conservation projects by creating volunteer or caretaker networks. Thanks to CEPF investments, today much more is known about the status of globally threatened species in the region than five years ago, and scientifically based data and guidelines are available for increasing their protection. CEPF put a major accent on filling the large gaps in data and the information gap on endemic plants of the Caucasus. A comprehensive list of Caucasian endemic plant species, subspecies, and varieties was compiled and comprises 2,800 taxa. Out of these, 1,100 taxa were assessed according to the IUCN Red List categories and criteria. Then around 600 of these taxa were assessed as globally threatened. Additionally, important plant areas were identified, the Caucasus Plants Red List was prepared, and the draft for a regional plant conservation strategy was developed for the Caucasus. Around 10% of the Caucasus hotspot's total area is composed of protected areas. The CEPF investment contributed to system-level planning to the expansion and creation of new protected areas. It also strengthened the management and administration of existing protected areas and helped develop sustainable financing mechanisms. Through the creation of new protected areas and the expansion of existing ones, biodiversity protection was extended to an additional 83,000 hectares. CEPF initiated the protection of a further total area of 195,000 hectares, which are expected to be approved in the near future. CEPF contributed to improving and strengthening the management of around 17 protected areas across the Caucasus hotspot, a total area of more than 1.2 million hectares. This was carried out through the development of management plans, improving in infrastructures and technical resources, and by training the staff in the protected areas. CEPF helped the Caucasus Protected Areas Fund to become operational. This fund is a charitable foundation that aims to ensure the financial sustainability of protected areas in the Southern Caucasus. My name is David Morrison. I'm the executive director of the Caucasus Protected Areas Fund, a trust fund uh, designed to support the key protected areas here in the South Caucasus. CPF was critical to the establishment of my organization. Uh, as a startup organization, uh, a, a foundation like mine is no different from any other organization. You need to market yourself, show people who you are, what you're trying to do, establish yourself before you can really uh, begin your operations. 
And that takes some time. In my case, it required visiting the region several times, uh, visiting potential donors to my organization, and uh, all of that uh, was supported by funds from the CEPF.